was 1996, and the place, Salt Lake City. For only the second time in the history of our society, both the chorus champions and the quartet champions were from the same chapter. The Masters of Harmony Chorus from the Foothill Cities, California chapter featured among its ranks a foursome who were seasoned competitors, had been in the medals the previous three years, had a very special sound, and were totally ready for the kill. From the far western district, here are Rob, John, Jeff, and Brett, your 1996 international champions, Nightlife! Told me, told me when I was in the past. Yes, my mama done told me. Mama done told me so. Oh, a woman, a sweet dog, can't give you the big eye. But when the sweet talk is done, and when the sweet talk is over, a woman's in two faces. Into it. It's, that's what you're talking about. It's the atmosphere. 
Where was it? In the blue. <laughs> Don't ask me to do that again. Too, right? <laughs> blue. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, Sweet Adelines International members, Harmony Incorporated, and members of the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. Yeah! We are so happy to be here tonight. Now, I know that uh, just before we came on, the Ritz had on Channel 5, no, that was something else, Ritz had uh, some videotape of their performance here, the competition in 1991. Now, that was our very first year competing. 1991, right here in Louisville. Was anyone here in Louisville that year? Yeah. Thank you, all nine. Very good. Now, um, we were very fortunate because uh, backstage you found a bunch of videotape that the Ritz decided not to use. <laughs> and it's of us. As <laughs> so actually, we... Uh, we, uh, we wound it back up on a spool, and we gave it to the guy in the back. We're going to try to play that once. Now, see if you remember this uh, little happening. Can we roll that beautiful bean footage? <laughs> yeah. Now, I'd like to point out first that the suit I'm wearing, it's fuchsia. It's not pink. And it's kind of a modified mullet haircut I have going on there. Business in the front, party in the back, haircut, right there. Look at them shoes, huh? That's right. We got, you know, the ladies are probably accustomed to this. You dye your shoes. We've never done that before. You don't want to think you look funny walking in with a pair of shoes. Can you make these fuchsia shoes just like this suit? And then they look at your mullet and they go, oh, yeah, okay, you're fine. Presence. You might notice there were stage presence uh, going on in the nightlife. I think that was the last time. international competition. Four just boneheaded people who didn't know what they were doing with our coach, Dr. Greg Lyon. Very fortunate to have Greg uh, helping us through the years. And we walked off stage feeling pretty good. We No one had forgotten their words or fallen down or anything, so it went pretty well. And we walked off stage and we were right back here in the, right around the back, uh, there's a hallway. We came out, well, you know, how do we do? <laughs> and Greg, you know, Mr. Confidence, you're in the top 20, don't give it a second thought. Shake, shook our hands, you know. And when Greg tells you that, at least we thought, he's right. <laughs> so, you know, he said, well, let's get rehearsing and let's call about renting some tuxedos and we'll get on that. So, uh, these guys, I believe, went to bed and Brett and I thought, we're going to go back and hear the call off. We want to hear our name, you know, in the top 20. And uh, we came right down here. Uh, there was a table set up right down here on the side and they, uh, Brett and I were right back there in that center door, weren't we? Right, sure. center right back there, and they're calling off, singing first. The present, present, present. And then you get up to singing 15th, and I had a feeling by the time we got to 15th that we weren't going to be in there. And 16, 17, 18, 19, singing 20th. I said, well, you know, Greg can't, Mike testers, certainly. Mike testers. 21st, Greg said. <laughs> and he has perfect pitch. 
So we know the guy. Not that it's necessarily relevant to the story, but he does have it. <laughs> so, uh, and mic testing your the Zornin Platz brothers or something. I'm not really sure what it was. <laughs> so we just kind of hung our heads and, well, let's go. Uh, it's got to be 20 seconds because Greg has perfect pitch. So let's go down. <laughs> Don't you, Greg? Yes, okay. All right. Let me hear an A. All right. Hey, now. So Brett and I come over, and you know, we're new, nobody knows who we are, and we don't know anybody internationally. So we go up to the gentleman at the table and say, We're uh, we were a competitor today, and we didn't get our name called. So I'd like to just kind of find out where we placed and get our video. So he says, What's the name of your quartet? Uh, we're Nightlife. Okay. So he picks up the, the uh, what do you call that thing? Clipboard. 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 And he goes, uh, okay, uh, nightlife. All right. So he's got, you know, from 21 on down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you spell that? Is that what it is? <laughs> to an N, night, night. Okay. All right. No! <laughs> And I said, nightlife, it's one word, nightlife. <laughs> we must have been like in the 20s. He's got a perfect pitch. And then they go on. And what's the third page? He goes, uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, 31st. Boom. Threw the, threw the uh, clipboard on the table, and with it, cro crushed my heart. I just want to tell you. <laughs> perfect pitch or not, I had a broken heart, Greg. So uh, to, uh, that's, not, that's really just a story to say to you guys, and you ladies, and competition that it hurts, but it doesn't kill you. You know, you can come back from something like that. The next year we were 11th, 4th, 2nd, and then, of course, 3rd. <laughs> that, that killed. That hurt. And then, of course, uh, we went on to win the darn thing, fortunately enough. Now, we, uh, was there a wind-up to that story? No, I forgot. That was it. Okay. Oh, but I know what it was. Don't give up. That's what it was. Uh, you know, just keep going, because I love these guys, but they're not always right. <laughs> I still have the medal, right? I didn't take it yet. All right. Uh, what the? Yes, okay, we'll just finish right up then. We're, we're going to do one more song uh, before we go. And it's, uh, it's a song we'd like to dedicate to our uh, the loved ones, our, our ladies in our lives, our wives, Karen, Connie, Patty, and Pat. And uh, a special uh, shout out, as the kids say, to my wife, Patty, who's birthday is today, and uh, that's right, there honey, I mean there's got to be more, and if you check page 39, you'll find my wife's picture in there in the Sweet Adeline's ad, so make sure you come up and she'll do the pose for you, she'll do this for you, the pose, but anyway, we're going to sing, oh my gosh, it's the... I think my, my wife has gotten control of the lighting board. All righty. Well, we're going to sing this song. We want to thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful convention, and we'll see you later. <laughs>
Western District has produced...